Benedict Tower with Truly Nerdcore TV at the Lake Comic Con 2016, aka Comic Con Day. Come join us inside. Out there, Jade Kim here with Truly Nerdcore TV, and I am standing with the absolutely epic Jessica Gentili of 451. And uh, can you explain to our viewers out there what 451 is? Absolutely. Hey guys, we are a independent comic book company and multimedia platform entertainment company out, based out of New York. One of our partners is Michael Bay, so we have a very cinematic approach to how we create and publish our comics. What's really cool about 451 is all the titles you see here are written by top Hollywood screenwriters, so we're bringing A-plus writing. We then collaborate with top-of-the-line artists, put it together, story drives us completely, put it together, beautiful books, and then we don't stop there. On our socials, 451.com and at 451official on Instagram, you'll be able to see all the motion graphic trailers we do for the comics, as well as live-action bumpers and tons of cool extra content to get people involved in our storylines. Oh, hey guys, guys, I uh, see Dr. Roger Huntoon, follow me. Uh, Dr. Roger Huntoon. Uh, uh, hi, Sean Piccinito with uh, Nerdcore TV here. Oh, Nerdcore. We're big fans of your work oh, on the show, uh, obviously. Thank I have you. the uh, shirt of Heroes with Issues on. Look at that. Um, so, so uh, tell us, what brings you to the convention today? Well, uh, the convention is a wonderful opportunity for my patients to interact with their fans in secret. They can wear their costume. Oh People my don't. God, Dr. Huntoon. Oh. So funny. oh my God, it's Psylocke. Oh my God, isn't it amazing? This is a scoop. Let's, let's follow this. It's wonderful to see you. Oh my gosh. Hi. Um, so how are, how are you feeling today, Betsy? I feel fantastic. Oh my gosh. Yes. I woke up this morning, I got out of bed, I ate my cereal, I, I came here, and, and it's amazing. Oh my god. We're witnessing an intervention from the doctor and a patient right now. Um, sure. We, we may or may not be in my office no, on the couch, no, but no, no, I, I'm there, sure I'm sure that's people. what you see. There's, there's, uh, sci uh, I, uh, there's Power Rangers and giant dinosaurs. Are and there? Comic books. Right in front of you. Look, there's a banana Deadpool right behind us. Do you us. see a banana? This is very interesting, but we do have a Pokemon Lives Matter right over here. Let's take it to there. This is Aaron and Sean Shonky of Bat in the Sun. Say hi. Hello. Hello, everyone. So we actually just left their panel. They actually uh, had a teaser of their upcoming um, beatdown, which was? Wolverine versus Wonder Woman. Ooh. And uh, obviously the crowd loved it. But how do you guys feel that, you know, everything went in the panel? And great. I mean, yeah, it great. a really nice crowd reaction. And, uh, you know, I personally think it's great. It's one of our best. Just put a lot of work into it and then uh, just put it online. Fans like it, hopefully. So... Um, you guys did announce that you are working with Valiant on a very epic project. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Maybe. I have to make a phone call. Uh, no, it's really cool. It's, uh, we're doing a, uh, it's a live action web series featuring the Valiant characters. Um, uh, Ninjak is obviously the main star. We've been uh, in pre-production for that for a long time. We're now actually filming and that will be out uh, next year. <laughs> Kevin actually has worked a lot with Bat in the Sun, so you know, tell me a little bit about the work that you've done with them. Well, I do a lot of Batman stuff, um, and I was approached by them, I guess, about 13, 14 years ago. And uh, they're just passionate, um, they're loyal, and a lot of everything that they do is just based on friendship, it's based on quality and integrity, and, um, and uh, yeah, that's the Batman stuff. Wonderful. So, I notice you have a little bit of scruff on your face. Uh, uh, not something you always have. It looks amazing, doesn't it not? Um, so, what is it for? Can you tell us? Yeah, it's for the Valiant series. Maybe you've seen the teaser out there that's floating around. We premiered it at New York Comic Con a couple of weeks ago. So, are you allowed to kind of talk about your character and yes, what you do on I'm, Valiant? Yeah. My character's name is Armstrong. I'm an immortal. And I'm 10,000 years old, super strong, and uh, kind of a drunkard. <laughs> and You like that one? Okay. <laughs> It's a fun character. He's just always, um, always making jokes. Very funny. Very charismatic. Very bombastic. Irreverent. It's a great character. So just big and drunk, <laughs> and bearded, and sloppy. Oh, indeed. We're off to find the coolest cosplayers. I have my fellow Spider Hi. Woman here. <laughs> this is Silk, uh, aka Cindy Moon. Can you tell me what inspired you to do this character? I'm Asian. 
<laughs> I, I do not like wigs. I have a lot of hair. It's very, very thick and heavy. So wearing this underneath a wig is a lot. Um, on top of that, like I read up, I read up on all my characters before I cosplay them. She is badass. She's awesome. I really hope she gets a short film soon. We might be doing one. Who knows? Hey everybody, Elena here. I'm here with Camila DeRico, one of the wonderful artists on Artist Alley this year at Stanley's Comic Con. And what's a great thing about Camila here is that she was able to do the program art for this year. As you can see, there's Stan Lee right there. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got wrapped up into doing this? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I've, I've been coming to Kamikaze since the inception, so since the beginning, and they asked me to be to do the the guide, which I was the the cover, and I was so excited because I'm such a fan of the show because it just embraces all that Stan is. And Norman Rockwell was my first one of my first artists I ever was inspired by, and Stan Lee, I'm I'm inspired by him as well. So. I have the one and only Jonathan freaking Carroll, the man, the myth, the legend. And uh, you may recognize him from probably Wolverine on Bat in the Sun, but he does do other characters as well. Jonathan, how are you doing today? I am fantastic. My goodness. So we actually just walked out of the Bat in the Sun panel and we saw an epic teaser clip of the next beatdown. How did you feel that it looked? Oh my gosh. My co-star Tatiana couldn't have been any better as Wonder Woman. Uh, the beatdown in entirety looked absolutely beautiful. I can't wait for everyone to actually see it. I'm here with an amazingly talented and gorgeous Chrissy Lin, who is an effects makeup artist, um, who is a professional cosplayer, who uh, styles the wigs. What else do you do? That You pretty much summed that up. <laughs> I do a lot of things. Being in LA, you kind of are a, a jack of all trades out here so yeah but that you you nail the three big ones for sure so what are you working on right now well I just wrapped a gem in the holograms fan film <laughs> um, and then of course well we're working with Valiant comics so all of the bloodshot stuff I did the makeup for on Jason David Frank um, amazing work thank you um, yeah we, we did a huge screening of that um, well a, a teaser trailer at New York Comic Con earlier um, this month but yeah that's the next big thing <laughs> I am standing with, as you guessed it, Danny Shepard of Ismahawk. How are you doing, Danny? Oh, I'm doing really well. I don't know if they guessed it, though. Did, did they guess it? How could you not recognize that face? Uh, leave a comment below and uh, tell me if you can guess it. It's a beautiful <laughs> face. So maybe you've recognized them with, uh, what's on your shirt there, huh? This is uh, our Nightwing logo from uh, our web series, Nightwing the Series, that, uh, that we made for our YouTube channel, Ismahawk. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I'm wearing it because uh, this is my con shirt. So oh. people, people can see me and it's like, ah, I know that logo. This must be that guy who put on the Nightwing costume that one time. He also never washes it between cons. Never, never, ever. Well, you know, it's like a lucky shirt. You know, you got to keep it dirty or else you wash off all the greatness. Just like underwear. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right? You do that too, right? Yeah. Sure. That, that's how you guys got so successful? Uh, sure. <laughs> awesome. So, okay, you did the Nightwing series and that was really amazing. And you also have another little project. What is it called? Uh, yeah, we do another series called Minute Matchups on our YouTube channel. Uh, it's uh, like versus battles, throw some characters together and see who wins. Of course, I said little ironically. It's actually, it's huge. Each video has like millions of freaking views and the videos are amazing. As a matter of fact, I would say probably one of their most epic videos to date actually just got released. And that, of course, was Voltron versus Power Rangers. Yeah! Oh my god! Uh, yeah, it was, it was, that was probably one of the most fun and difficult videos that we've ever done. We've never done CGI before and it was... Two CGI robots, complete CGI, and uh, this is the biggest cast we've ever had in a video uh, as well. Uh, even, I think, more than Nightwing, it's, we've had more characters in that actual scene than any, uh, anything we had in Nightwing, so it was, it was pretty insane. How was your experience portraying Darth Vader in Batman vs. Vader? It was amazing. Actually, that's the second time I played Darth Vader. I was also Darth Vader in Darth Vader vs. Gandalf. Uh huh. You didn't. You didn't know that. Yeah, I did I all the stunts and the fight and the choreography, and whenever there was like a close up or whenever we needed like Vader's hand to open or I wasn't available, David Baxter would be Darth Vader, uh, and he was also when Vader pulled his mask off at the end of Batman versus Darth Vader. That was that was David Baxter. I did all the hard stuff. OMG! I did not know that. Jennifer Winger, the beautiful Jennifer Winger, who is a professional actress, 
a host. Uh, Jennifer, you know, you do a lot of stuff. What do you do? <laughs> like, present yourself. I'm an actress, comedian. I did stand up in LA for eight years. I had a duo where we did musical comedy. I'm a stepmom. I'm uh, a cosplay for fun. It's my hobby. And I am one of the people who started the characters on Hollywood Boulevard before it got really weird. <laughs> I'm here with Marciano Nisiesa. Did I pronounce it correctly? Almost perfect. Mariano. 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 Mariano, Mariano Nisiesa. Okay, now I almost nailed it. Now we're golden. <laughs> uh, Mariano, what do you do? I do quite a bit. I'm, I'm a publisher for Shatner Singularity. I'm also an illustrator and I'm also a writer. Um, which of your projects uh, might we know you by? I worked for quite a few years at Marvel. I was published many times at Marvel. Uh, Inner Demons was a graphic novel that I did that I'm well known for. Right now, the current projects include William Shatner's War Chronicles. I'm the writer for that project. Those were novels that William Shatner wrote, and I adapted them into graphic novel format. Our other project of note is Stan Lee's God Woke. That's actually premiered at this show as a deluxe hardcover graphic novel. Hi there, I'm Amanda Lynn, and I'm here with Sean Piccinino of Truly Indie Studios, Bat in the Sun, and Heroes with Issues. So that's a whole ton of things to talk about, Sean. Yes. And uh, I'd like to hear first a little bit about your production company, Truly Indie Studios. Well, Truly Indie Studios, uh, you know, it's a great uh, collaboration of artists and, and different people. Uh, uh, you know, from all walks of uh, production, and we've come together to try and do some really fun, cool stuff. Uh, we obviously have our YouTube channel and some of our shows like Heroes with Issues. Yes, I'm selflessly promoting it. And uh, we also have this new show called uh, Nerdcore TV. I don't know if you've heard of it. No, I haven't. Could you tell me a little bit about that? So this is a new cool show where we get really awesome people interviewing other, well, I'm not that awesome, but... I think you're pretty awesome. Uh, you said it. Uh, but no, uh, you know, we're just, we're trying to do lots of fun stuff. Superheroes, we have some original content. Um, we're also working with Bat in the Sun. Obviously, I'm here today for the uh, panel. Yeah, we're here on the Bat in the Sun panel. We have a few different cast members. I am standing with the Jeff Krellett of Heavy Metal. Jeff, how are you doing today at LA Comic Con? Love it. It's great. Now, um, go ahead and go ahead and explain some of the epic things you do for Heavy Metal. Uh, so I oversee the whole company, uh, which is the magazine, our film and television business, the digital business, and music. Okay, now, did you read Heavy Metal when you were younger? I started off reading Metal Herlant when I was a little kid because my brothers were you know, much older than I was, so I was reading it when I shouldn't have been reading it. And I couldn't read French, so I made up my own versions of the stories. And around 83, I saw the movie, and then I switched schools in 84, and my buddy said to me, Oh, you like the movie, you must love the magazine. So I was like, there's magazines? Well, look at who I found. Brandon Mullally, famous actor, stuntman extraordinaire. Uh, he's here at the con. What brings you to the con today? I am here to seek out people who want to be Purple Cobras. Purple Cobras, wait a minute, I've heard about this team. Uh, they're world champions in dodgeball. Don't you guys have a special chance or something? Yes, and whoever knows how to do it, they can be an honorary member. It goes like this. Oh, exclusive, we have two Purple Cobras in the building. Yeah, that's how it goes, man. He's never done it right. He's, He's never, never done it right either. High. Kevin Porter, everybody. Laser. Yeah, okay, I just want to say I'm out of here. Right. Wow. Well, and, and just like that, he's gone. I'm here with an amazing actor you all know and love, Casper Van Dien, uh, who's been on numerous projects. Casper, um, say hello to everyone. Hello to everyone. Tatiana and I worked together on Mortal Kombat uh, season one, season two. Season two, I think. Yeah, season two is coming out in January. So I played Johnny Cage, and we had a whole scene there, right? Yeah. Um, it's true. We met on set on Mortal Kombat, and uh, and been friends ever since. Hey guys, here we are with Nerdcore TV again, and look who I found, Eddie Perez. This is Emmy. Do I got this right? Emmy winning. Actor, stunt coordinator, extraordinaire. You got, you're super talented. What brings you here to the convention today? I'm here hanging out, checking everybody out. Come on, this is awesome. We're all in costume. Yesterday I came, I saw you without it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, guys from Legion M invited me back to uh, do some interviews and stuff. And I told them I'd only do it in cosplay. So. <laughs> 
I wish I could grow a beard. You know what I'm saying? I think you could work a beard. I think. Think so? Yes, I, I think you'd look awesome with a beard. It's the sweetest thing anyone's ever told me. Yeah. Literally gave me the shirt off of his back. Um, I mean, obviously the world can thank me because they can now see his epic biceps. May I say, as a man, thank you for wearing that. As a man, I just I, I, have, to, I, have, to, I have to say, you look amazing. You look incredible. Thank you. Would you like to borrow it? Uh, actually, Jennifer is uh, also very well known out there as uh, one of the hosts uh, of Superpower Beatdown for that Bat in the too. Sun. You know my resume better than I do. <laughs> you might want to take that off, buddy. Uh, my name is Ohan. Ohan, and? And I'm actually Miguel. Miguel. All right, so uh, do you want to explain your epic armor to us? Uh, yeah, this is the Clone Grunt ARF, um, inspired by the animated series Clone Wars. Yeah, and uh, that's Star Trek, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us on uh, Truly Nerdcore TV. Back to you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in at Stanley's LA Comic Con. Exactly how I feel. We met some awesome artists. We met some cool actors. We met some awesome people, including the Bat in the Sun people behind me. Thank you so much for tuning in. Woo! Make sure you look out for these guys from Bat in the Sun, Superpower Beatdown, and Valiant, and we will see you guys next time.